Welcome back to the channel, and I must say, sorry I'm doing so much Subaru stuff. Um, it's all I can do right now until I can get other things going around here. So, right now you gotta bear with me. I'm doing Subaru stuff, and, uh, you know, I, it's just, it's what I gotta do right now. I gotta get all this out of the way before I start on her Tiburon. And her, actually, I could start on her Elantra GT. I got to put a clutch in that. But right now, I'm dropping the exhaust on this Subaru. So this video is going to be how to drop an exhaust on your Subaru. Uh, this is a 2006. I'm not sure if any other years are equivalent to this. I think they are like 06 or 05 to 0 eight or oh seven something like that i'm not too sure but i'm gonna drop the exhaust and i'm gonna take the whole thing off i mean i'm dropping the whole thing right off so i can get her out of the way of what i have to do with this vehicle so i'm gonna get her done and oh there's my trusty diet coke but that's not a sponsor so we don't have to worry about that so let me get under there. Oh my word, there's a little chipmunk over here. <sighs> he, he's really cute. I No, he's gone. Darn. See, I get sidetracked so easy. Isn't that crazy? And uh, since I'm working on this, I'm wearing I'm wearing I'm wearing my Honda hat. I know that doesn't make much sense. But uh, this is a car. It says right there, Japan. Hondas are made in Japan. So I'm going with it and saying, hey. They're, uh, they're, they're Japanese. So, JDM. JDM cars. I'm going with that. So the hat works. So let me get set up here, and we'll get on our way. So, there's the underside. How do I get at these bolts? Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, there's a bolt. Okay, I can get at them pretty good, it looks like. Uh, it goes all the way back there. I gotta drop a bolt right there. And, yeah, this thing will just fall right out. And that makes me very happy, by the way. So, let me start on the bolts up here. Uh, there. And there's one there somewhere. And, uh, do I have to take these covers off? Huh. I might have to take these covers off. I'm not looking happy about that. But I do got to drop this exhaust. Okay, let's get at her. So, it's 14 millimeter nuts on there. I sprayed some rust losa penetrating oil. I have no clue where I got this stuff, but i um, got about half a can left. And somebody gave me this. I, I Stuff works amazing, actually. It's almost as good as uh, croil. I want to get some croil. Hmm, should get some. But yeah, it sprays far to this stuff. So you can get right up in there. So I am now going to try and see if I can break these loose. They're up there, by the way. So I'm lucky somebody did not crank these on to 500 foot pounds, and they seem to be um, been nice and easy to loosen. Of course, I did use my little breaker bar there, ratcheting, and uh, broke them loose. And now I'm going to use my uh, cordless impact to get them out. Well, uh, so far so good. I got those out, so she's just leaning there now on that one I got to get. <sighs> that one already has been a pain to loosen, so I got to get farther under there and get that one maybe i should stick something under here to hold this up as i go to the back i might cut off those uh i'll see how they are i don't really want to cut them off i have lots i i, I have like 30 of those rubber bushings tons of them for some reason i think uh, my dad liked to collect them ha 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 in the old days and I acquired them when he passed away so I have a ton of those so that's not a problem but let me try to get that middle one off so I can't get that bolt out I tried it's just 
no room for me to get in there and get it out. So we look up there. Those two bolts? I'm going to get those out because that's the bracket. So let's hope those two bolts come out. I think they're 12 mil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're 12 mil. Stupid bolt. Silly little fella. So there we go. I got that bracket off. Uh, she's free there. As you can see, she's, she's free. That was a pain in the butt. There ain't a whole lot of room in there. Just so I can take this all off in one piece and then not worry about it. But this is a part here. Now, uh, I'm going to try first to get that off you know the rubber off we'll see if it happens or i'll cut it well that didn't work out too bad i just sprayed some uh, old uh what is it fluid film on there slimy stuff and kind of fluid film actually works better than some of that other stuff it's all slimy eh so it gets it at uh move them pretty good yeah they're shocked at that plus it protects the metal yeah they're not a sponsor either so i think there's two of them on the muffler Ugh, great two of these miserable things got a subaru muffler on it though <laughs> might have to change that in the future where's the other one Even here somewhere oh there it is so, oh, sorry. There we go. So I'm going to spray some fluid film on these too. And see what I can get away with on this side. Hopefully, it'll take care of it. Right, I got that one off with the help of that uh, fluid film. Holy crap, that stuff is like slippery as... I don't know. What is it slippery as? Well, I got that one off too. But I think this thing is still held on with one. Probably in front of the muffler. Oh, hey, I'll have to get under there and get that one too. Well, there the silly thing is. Right back here, the muffler. Oh, why would they put one there? Well, it looks like an easy one to get, so I'm going to grab that one out of there too. Well, that one wasn't an easy one, and it was already broken on one side, so I just decided to cut the other side. So she's down. Muffler is down all the way. Just got a letter off of the stand. Oops, sorry, I'm not even showing you. Letter off of the stand in the front, and then I can pull her out the back. Well, at least I hope I can. We'll see what happens. Well, there we go. I'll grab her, pull her out. Hopefully, she'll clear everything. Oh. Oh, out of the system in the future but not just yet let's take a better look at it Whew. and there we are there's the the cat yeah the cat there's the secondary cat ah, down further oh, we've had a patch put in there a resonator don't know how good that is but that may go in the future uh, the rest of her I don't see that ever coming apart there looks like somebody just welded that right up yeah, I think they welded her right up huh, neat if it works it works right and the rest of her and the original probably muffler at least that's what it seems to be. It does seem to be original muff. Me, I'm going to go stick this in the shed somewhere. The big shed. And, well, at least I got her off. That thing got away at least. Wow, I would say at least. Let me lift her again. Uh, oh, yeah, at least 80 pounds all together. Wow, that's heavy. I'll have to get the wife to help me to carry her 
into the shed. But I finally got her off. Well, now I'm getting closer to getting the engine out of this uh, Forester Subaru. <sighs> but that's all I was going to do with her today. I did it. I got her off. And uh, hope you stuck with me the whole time. And if you didn't, I don't feel any bad things towards you anyways if you don't want to watch. But thanks for watching anyways who stuck with me.